Alrighty there YouTube, so it finally came, and if you've been following me on Twitter, you'd know that I've been tweeting about this a lot and been really excited, but I finally got the new 2011 Mac Mini, and it is in server edition as you can see right there. So this is going to go ahead and be an unboxing video and kind of like a first look and what's on it and some changes that Apple made on the inside of the box and on the Mac Mini itself. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So on the box itself, on the front, you're just going to see the usual stuff, the Mac Mini and some specifications. Like right here, it says server. So we're going to go ahead and flip to the left. It's just an Apple logo, nothing too special or anything. Let's go ahead and flip to the right. So on the right, it's going to say um, it's Thunderbolt, it, which is the uh, Apple's new high-speed I.O., which is very fast. It can get up to 10 gigabits per second. So this is a very fast kind of port, almost like a USB port, but faster. And then it's a Core i7, which is a quad-core processor, which is what you're going to need for a server. It's a 2.0 gigahertz quad-core processor, and it has OSX line server. It has server because we are going to be running a web server, and it's going to be connected to my home theater in my house. So let's go ahead and look on the back. On the back is just what the back of the Mac Mini looks like. Top, there's really nothing, and then the bottom is a whole bunch of info. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and unbox this. So we're going to go and cut the shrink wrap off of here and peel this off and throw it aside okay so now that it is out of the shrink wrap we're going to go ahead and we're going to try and figure out how to open Apple's contraption of a box it looks like it just slides out so we're going to go ahead and throw that aside so as you can see Apple's Mac Mini isn't too big but it's big for a Mac Mini kind of so we're gonna go ahead and take this out and look at what else is in the box first alright so take this out and set this over to the side now what you're gonna get in the box is you are going to get your power cable which is your power adapter of course and then you're going to get an HDMI to DVI adapter for some external displays and things like that and then of course you get the usual literature that Apple gives and it's kind of like a jump start for um, new Mac users. Now what you're not going to get in the box is Apple has completely eliminated physical media so you're not going to get any type of boot up disk or boot up USB drive like they previously offered but there are rumors that Apple is going to be offering those in the future. So back to the Mac Mini we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull you over here and Basically, oh, we should take the wrap off first. So basically, there was almost no changes to the exterior of this, other than the fact that they took away the optical drive, but in the server, it never had an optical drive anyway. So on the front, you're just going to get an indicator light, and on the bottom, you're going to get an easy access panel for the inside of the Mac Mini in which you simply just slide to the right if I can get it to work uh, there we go and then you're going to go ahead and pop it off and in there you can go ahead and access the inside of the Mac Mini so that's pretty cool for upgrading RAM for third-party RAM and things like that so let's go ahead and let's look where all the action really is so on the back, you're going to see, you're going to have your power button right there. Then you're going to have your power adapter. You're going to have your usual gigabit uh, Ethernet switch. And then you're going to have a FireWire 800. And what the Mac Mini, um, what the Mac Mini offers is an HDMI cable for uh, hooking up to external displays and home theater systems, which is kind of an innovative step by Apple, nothing too big. So you got your HDMI thing, you got your uh, Thunderbolt uh, output input, you have four USB hubs, you have one SDXC slot, and then you have your two audio ports. And then of course you have the fan vent. So then, on the front, you're going to see the Apple logo is black rather than the usual white, which is kind of nice. And then the outside is kind of the aluminum you usually get on like the unibody structures, because if you see you touch it and you have sweaty hands, it'll leave behind a mark. So that can be kind of annoying to some people, especially me since I'm OCD about that kind of stuff. But anyway, guys, this has been an unboxing of the new 2011 Mac Mini. I hope you really liked it. I, um, I don't do too many unboxings. These are my first unboxings, and sorry if I made any mistakes. 
If I made any mistakes, just go ahead and leave it down in the comments and I'll try and improve on it in the future. And there will be a lot more videos coming up on this little guy, so stay tuned. I'll make a playlist and I'll post it on Twitter. If you want to follow me on Twitter, just go ahead and search at I Could App That and you guys will find me. So guys, thanks for watching and uh, remember to subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Alright guys, see you later.